Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Italy versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Francesco Acerbi plays with Rafael Toloi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Well, it's the basic 4 4 2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullback. It's a really tough role for them. And so the battle commences. Determined defending. Domenico Berardi. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. It is now with Jorginho. The cross is on. Effort from long distance. Jorginho. Making sure it didn't get past him. Werner. Oh, surely! In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Verratti, moving the ball forward with purpose. Will he play it in? Spinazzola. At times they make passing look easy. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Havertz. Fulkrug. Werner. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can he find the net? Not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Verratti, Pellegrini, Verratti now, just the challenge that was required, Werner, well 
and getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back and doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today, a constant threat to this back line. Well, the short corner routine. Chan. Well, racing past his man. Leonardo Spinazzola. Spinazzola. He could pick out a teammate. Barella. On to Verratti. Pellegrini. Now with Jorginho. Simple save, really. Kai Havertz. Here's Fulkrug. Giving it a try. And a decent save. Full credit. Jorginho. Verratti now. Read it well. Decent position for Germany to be in. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And the keeper there to deal with it. Kai Havertz. Defensive excellence there. Barella. Disappointing pass. Well, Germany certainly haven't dominated the ball so far, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Yes, really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. And I think just lost his focus for a second, and a throw-in conceded. A chance to whip it in. Veering in field here. Verratti. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Verratti. I must say, this looks promising. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Barella. Now he must favour the cross. Jorginho. And intercepts again. Barella. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Fulkrug. Werner. And now Havertz. Nicely timed tackle. Varela. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge.
options. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Effective challenge. And they need to get tighter. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Barella. And now with Di Lorenzo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Emre Can. Nico Schlotterbeck. The high press was very much on. Jorginho. And using his body to good effect. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Up behind for another corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. A very effective clearance. Rafael Toloi. Oh, great play. It is now with Jorginho. Now with Verratti. Opportunity. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. And so Germany get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? And into the last 30 minutes now. Has a go. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. A 
and they will be awarded a free kick for that now they're going to alter things here's the substitution Domenico Berardi Lorenzo Pellegrini with it it's a perfect challenge racing forward trying to catch them out can they take advantage of the situation takes on the shots well actually pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end Francesco Acerbi Adonso Di Lorenzo Barella Verratti now Pellegrini well offside I rather think he was caught in two minds well he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass he showed a complete lack of awareness there And into the last 20 minutes. Werner. Oh, super piece of play. Timo Werner! Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. The corner from Kimmy, flinging himself at it, the keeper. And intercepted there. Oh, good work by the keeper. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Short corner it is. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, the post got in the way. And in the end, no damage done. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Well, it should boost their confidence, but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. execution there rather went awry well Derek the less said about that the better I think they go chasing the game and a chance to whip it in here Gnabry! oh what a fantastic save well that's a match winning save there not long left now and the substitution will occur now and short it is what a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick.
Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. And they saw the situation developing. Leonardo Spinazzola. Now with Jorginho. Verratti. Lastly, time tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. A foul, but advantage played. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Well, the pass not finding its target. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Verratti. On to Jorginho. Able to skip past his man. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Mario Götze. Really good challenge. Verratti. Real chance. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.